Right, so I was actually lucky enough last night in my squad battle rewards to pack in Foam William. I was, I was just like, I wasn't expecting anything because I only finished Elite 2 on squad battles. I've been going for Elite 2 recently. I, I used to go for Elite 1, but it's just too many games during the week and just, I, it just drains me, honestly. I just can't be bothered to play that many games of FIFA. But yeah, I went for Elite 2 and so I opened my Mega Packs and out comes William. I was like, I was, I was pretty surprised, pretty impressed. I'm going to change formation in games, by the way. We've also got him from Braithwaite. I'm going to be putting him at striker in game. I'm going to be putting Willie in at Cam. And I think you can kind of guess the rest of the team, really. Here are the custom tactics. As you can see, they have not changed from the last video. I will be showing player instructions, but I'll show it in game because I've not set any for now. Because when you change formation in game, obviously it resets the instructions. So I will show you them in game. I'll show you what I change it to in game. Let's get into a game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Um. Pretty standard Bundesliga team to be honest, so yeah, fair enough. I shall show you what I do in game with this team formations, 4-3-1-2 obviously. This is going to take some getting used to, hold on, because there's a lot of changes, so obviously Braithwaite, the blah blah blah, there we go, Ericsson and Fernandinho switch. Actually, it wasn't too bad, so yeah, there we go, that's how I set the team out, and we'll go over to instructions, getting behind, press back line on the front two, no, not that, there we go, press back line. Stay forward on the cam, stay back while attacking on the centre centre mid, the outside centre mids are always unbalanced. Stay back while attacking on the two centre backs and balanced on the left back and right back. Let's get into this game, let's go. Braithwaite, nice. Nice quick one two. Keep going Braithwaite, finish it, that's, that's awful. That is awful, you need to be finishing that bro. You really need to be finishing that. That's it, come on William, let's go. Let's go William. Finish it. Happy days. I thought he missed it for a second there. Braithwaite missed the Mr. Finney. Well, Mr. Goal, Mr. Chance a minute ago. And I thought William had just done the same, but now nah, William put it into the back of the net. I know he hit the post, but it's still a good low driven shot into the bottom corner. William. Finesse! Wasn't actually a bad finesse job, but those keepers pulling off a lot of good saves. That's it. Nice, William. Great. 1 2. Come on, William. Come on, is it going to this in? It's in, lads. Let's go. 2 <laughs> 0. Well played by Willian. It was a nice quick 1 2. Making a, he's making those runs through the middle all the time. It's what I love in a cam. If a cam makes those runs from deep, goes through the middle of the defense, and just runs past the defense, so hard to track, honestly, because the midfielders just don't track that kind of run. So it's impossible. It's Well, not, all, not impossible to defend, but it's very, very difficult to defend. Keep going, William. Keep going. Beautiful. That's it. Take him on. I. What is even going on here? Like, what is this? I don't. How? 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 What? <laughs> I'm just sat here, like you know, doing doing dribble moves, like you know, just doing a ball roll, doing a little fake shot, and he just William just keeps getting the ball back, running for his defense somehow. I kind of feel sorry for him because I'd probably be a bit annoyed if my defense kept like shrugging me but not like actually getting the ball off of me. Yeah, post corner OP from Braithwaite again. Let's go Braithwaite. There we go. I knew I could get one with him. He's, I know he's jumping. He's really high. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. I swear it's in the 90s. But he's at the near post every single time I whip in a corner. So I knew eventually I'd be able to get a near post header with him. It's not a bad jump and not a bad header over the keeper to be fair. That's it, Braithwaite. Keep going. Keep going. Look at the strength by Braithwaite. Nice turn. Little drag back. This guy's just sliding now for the sake of it. I feel like he's, he's just giving up defending. It was still nice dribbling by Braithwaite, and it's still a good finish, to be fair. I feel like... I don't know whether it's just... He's bad at defending or whether he's given up on defending. But, yeah, you could just tell there when he slide tackled there. He's just... Yeah, giving up. Let's go, Braithwaite. Let's go. Like I said, I think this guy's just given up defending. He's just, he's given up. I'm not going to score any more goals. I'm not going to. Even if I get the chance to, I'm just not going to. Braithwaite, I think, got a hat-trick. William, I think, has got a hat-trick now as well. So, yeah, I think we'll leave it at that, to be honest. It's, uh, Braithwaite doesn't feel too bad, by the way, though. He's, in terms of, like, making runs and he's dribbling and stuff like that, he feels pretty decent. He won the header from goal kick as well to start off that move, so happy days. Oh, as if he's won a penalty out of that. 
<laughs> I didn't want to concede this game. But, you know, I don't always want a penalty out of that. I really don't. He's, his player's literally just fallen over. I don't think I've even touched him. He's going to take it with his keeper. Come on. Can we save it? Can we save it? Can we do it? Oh, we can. We can save it. Let's go, lads. Let's go. I will obviously take the 6 0 win. Let's get into another game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Not bad. Not bad. 4 1 2 2 with Hazard. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Pretty decent to be fair, actually. I'm saying not bad. It's a bit better than not bad, to be honest. What a ball from Ericsson. What a ball. Let's go, Braithwaite. Beautiful. Nice. This was fantastic from Braithwaite. It's a pity that he couldn't finish it. But Williams got it. Come on. Oh. Ah. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was a well played. Well played goal. Can't really complain. Nice passing. Decent finish. That's it. Over to Braithwaite. Braithwaite, that's a nice turn. That's a nice finish. Get in there, Braithwaite. He feels so, like, agile, and but he feels strong at the same time. He's so weird. I don't know what his finishing stats is. I forgot to... Co I actually completely forgot to look at his in-game stats. But so far, his finishing not being too bad. Braithwaite, nice. Finish it. Let's go, Braithwaite, man. He's been, he feels so good. Honestly, I'm not even kidding. He actually feels really, really good. Just getting in behind. His movement, his finishing doesn't seem too bad. He just, I don't know, he feels very, very well-rounded, very nice. To be fair, when you look at his card, he does look very, very well-rounded. And he feels like that in-game. He, he really does. Braithwaite, another great run. Finish it, Braithwaite. Let's go, man. Hard trick for Braithwaite, man. He feels, like I said, I can't say it enough. He feels really, really good. Really, really good. He's very fun to use. I just sub him on at striker. Buy him as a super sub, if anything. Or, you know, just just go out and buy him. He actually feels awesome. I'm not going to be able to get to him. I, I knew I wouldn't be. It was from kickoff, and so I knew I wouldn't be able to get to him because I literally tackled him like three times. And he just got the ball back and my defense was just all over the place because obviously I just pulled them out of place to tackle them. And I should have got the ball, but it's from kickoff, so I didn't get the ball. Near post corner OP, Braithwaite. Let's go, man. I told you he's jumping. He's not really he doesn't really lose many headers. I know he's only small, he's like five foot nine, but he's heading well, he's jumping must be really, really high because he really doesn't lose many headers. Rebound goals, kickoff goals. Yes, I love them. I love them so much. I swear to God, man, they need to fix kickoff. They won't, though. They, we all know they won't, but they, they really should. I see William. Great run through the middle. Come on. I need you to finish this, William. William, finish it. Get in there. 5 3. Please don't concede from kickoff. Please. Uh, please, Lewis. I'm talking to myself here. Please, you know, just defend. Please defend well. It's, it's so difficult for a kickoff though. It really is. Get in there. I will take the 5-3 win. Let's get to our last final game. Braithwaite came up clutch that game. I think he scored four goals. Was it four? I want to check. Just in case. I really want to check. Four goals that game. Wow. Braithwaite just, like I said, coming up clutch. Let's get to our last final game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has for the last and final game of this video. He's got more shell at centre. Oh, wow. Fair enough. Uh, he's got company. He's got some players that you normally wouldn't see in a Prem team. I've got an eyelash in my eye and it's really annoying me. But yeah, you wouldn't normally see Klein. You probably wouldn't see Firmino that much. So, yeah, not too bad. That's it. Braithwaite. Nice run. Great positioning once again, man. This guy's a good player as well. I can already tell. He's keeping hold of the ball very, very well. He's playing that possession style of play. And to be honest, this is usually the type of player that messes me up. I just can't play against it. But... Hopefully we'll be alright, especially since we've got Braithwaite up top, you know, the saviour. Gabriel Jesus, that's it to William. yes, get in there William, great run as well man. Um, I'm, I'm really, I hope we beat this guy, I really do, I really, really do, because this guy, like I said, he's a good player, he's holding onto the ball, and I just, I'm struggling to get off him, I've had like two attacks, if, if that was me, I'd probably be a little bit annoyed, but I've literally had two attacks, and I've got two goals, so, yeah, it's just hard to get the ball off him. William, great ball over to Braithwaite. Braithwaite, finish it, get in there. What a ball from William as well, by the way. Literally cracked open this guy's defense with one over-the-top through ball. It was just literally pinpoint onto Braithwaite's foot. Get in there. 
look at this water ball that is incredible and obviously Braithwaite I can count on him I can count on him to finish ah oh, fair play to him managed to keep hold of the ball for a lot longer than what he usually did before that so yeah I I might have to just like try and slow this game down and just try and keep hold of possession great ball from William let's go Jesus William let's go 4-1 game over that was that was just really nice play between William and Gabriel Jesus. Can't really complain too much. William feels awesome as well, by the way. I know I've been hyping up Braithwaite, but William feels really, really nice. Fair play to him. Got himself a consolation goal. Is he was he was he uh putting the cup in the ear? Like that. I, I don't know if he was doing that, but don't know why he's 4-2 down, but yeah, fair enough. I will take a 4-2 win. Really do wish that I didn't actually concede that last goal, to be honest. I was I was kind of hoping for a 4-1 win, but, you know, he got a consolation goal. Can't really complain too much. Braithwaite and William, massive thumbs up. I would definitely recommend both of these informs. Braithwaite is pretty difficult to get into a team, so if I was you, I would put Braithwaite maybe as a super sub, or maybe just sub him on for someone, or try and get him in a team with some icons, and definitely, definitely play him at striker. Don't play him on the wing. Striker suits him so much more. That makes a lot more sense now I look at his in-game stats. His in-game stats are actually insane now I look at them. They are, they are incredible. No wonder why he was so good. He was... No wonder why his positioning was so good. 88 attacking positioning. Obviously, he's really, really quick. I know he's got lower acceleration than sprint speed, but he feels so quick off the mark anyway. But when he gets going, he feels even quicker. So, yeah, pace-wise, not, not a problem at all. I think he has tries to beat defensive line trade because he was always making a run in behind. So, I, he surely has tries to beat defensive line trade. Dribbling-wise, agility, balance, you know, dribbling and all that stuff. Absolutely fine. I had no problems. I know his dribbling is pretty low at 83, but really didn't have any problems like weaving, like dribbling around players, weaving in and out of challenges and stuff like that. So dribbling isn't a problem. Shooting wise, like I said, finishing, he just finished everything for me. So I can't really complain. I can't say he was inconsistent at finishing or anything like that. Because literally every single chance I gave him, he, he finished. So... Really can't complain about the finishing. Passing wise, quick one twos, absolutely fine, absolutely perfect. Didn't even realize he had 82 free kick accuracy. It's just another bonus. He can take free kicks as well, but yeah, quick one twos and stuff like that, and just passing in general, absolutely fine. And the physical is what I what I'm most surprised about because he actually feels really really strong. He held his own against the likes of uh, Bai Company, you know, stuff like that. He just, I don't know, he feels really, really strong in game. He won like every header from goal kicks as well, so honestly, this Braithwaite is an absolute bargain at under 15k. Absolute steal. William, I got what I expected from him. I expected him to be pretty decent at everything that he is pretty decent at. Like, pace-wise, obviously absolutely fine, no problems at all. Positioning-wise, he was okay. Shooting-wise, in general, I didn't really get to take many long shots with him, but shooting-wise, in general, it wasn't too bad. 82 finishing, that is more than good enough to finish one-on-one. -on -one. Honestly, you have no problems. I wouldn't really recommend playing him on the wing, by the way. I do think he's much better central, but that's just because I don't really like winger formations in general. He could definitely play on the wing. I just think he's a lot better centrally. Passing-wise, absolutely fine. Some of the through balls he was playing were absolutely incredible. Like, that lob through ball over to Braithwaite for one of the goals. Absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, just inch perfect. Straight over the top of the defense. Fantastic. Don't think I really need to say anything dribbling-wise. Look at his dribbling stats. He literally he just weaves in and out of opponents. It's what you'd expect from a William card. He's got perfect dribbling stats. Absolutely fine. I Like I said, I would definitely play this guy at camp. And physical-wise, I don't know what it is about William, but even with his non-inform, he feels a lot stronger than what his stats actually suggest. Because... Since then, he's only got 65 strength for 46 aggression. It feels so much better than that. He honestly holds onto the ball pretty well for someone who's only 5'9 and has that amount of strength. I don't know what it is. His non-inform is exactly the same like that as well. When I used his non-inform at Cam, he just holds onto the ball a bit longer than what you would expect him to do. But yeah, William absolutely fine and yeah i actually really enjoyed this team i thought delaney and the left back would let me down but they really didn't smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new twitter's always down below in the description i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye